Responsible for that high-tech slicer is a global partnership that's based on technology pioneered here in St. Petersburg. While the streets of the northern capital are icy in winter months, the laser-related tech of some of the city's scientists is red hot. The principle that underlies many laser scalpels dates back to the mid-1980s and has its roots at the St. Petersburg State University of Information Technologies, Mechanics and Optics. Now, Despite what many people think, laser scalpels don't make incisions with the laser beam per se, but instead employ generated heat to do the cutting. Previously, this was a rather imprecise science. The laser scalpel base just created a fixed output. The temperature could and did vary throughout the course of an operation. But based on the know-how here at the St. Petersburg Institute, Photonics has developed the ST Lays, which they feel is head and shoulders above the competition. What sets this device apart lies in its feedback system that controls the temperature of the areas being operated on and alters the laser irradiance parameters depending on the required temperature. Here in St. Petersburg, they're testing out different fiber tip configurations to see which give the most ideal performance for certain tasks. Different materials can be used in the tips, but depending on how much of the laser light they absorb, they emit varying temperatures. But while the historic roots and current cutting-edge research takes place in St. Petersburg through photonics, the company's production is located all the way across the globe. At Dental Photonics, just outside of Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. Here the truly international team applies the research and development carried out by their Russian partners. This allows these innovators to lean on the strengths of the individual companies. Photonics is primarily responsible for innovation, uh, research, development and commercialization of the product in the Russian Federation. Uh, and Dental Photonics is responsible for manufacturing and commercialization in international markets. Uh, and we think that this is a, a very uh, optimal scheme uh, to uh, uh, maximize success of the project because it allows to uh, uh, maximize the strengths of each parties in their uh, respective geographic locales and also leverage uh, their uh, capital resources most efficiently. Here in the U.S., the lasers are marketed as Alta MS lasers. The model you see here is designed for soft tissue surgery. But the company is currently working on a new module with a fiber ending designed especially for cutting through hard tissue like tooth enamel and dentine. The unique design means dentists can simply swap out the soft tissue scalpel for a different one. In theory, that means dental surgeons won't have to invest in an entirely separate console for different purposes. Devices produced by our closest competitors in terms of power are much larger and much more complicated than the ones that we make. Some competitors make similarly sized devices, but they're much less powerful than ours. So our devices are quite well placed in the market. They're compact, easy to assemble, highly efficient, and can accurately control the optical power output. As you can see here, the laser scalpel is easily able to pierce a piece of wood. With only three pulses, it can slice through about 15 millimeters. The resulting hole is smaller and more accurate than is possible with other surgical drills. In theory, such super fast pulsating power could be used for painless cavity drilling. In Russia, it was exhibited at the Moscow Dental Show, which was held this year. All of the devices that were produced and intended for sale in the Russian market were completely sold out over the course of the two days of the show.